Hey everybody, welcome back to another edition of our full resort and room tours. Today we are at Coronado Springs, soon to be home of the Grand Destino Tower, which is, this is the main entrance right now, which will soon be what is behind me here. You can see all the screaming construction. That is the Grand Destino Tower. So I'm going to take you in and show you around. And if you enjoy my room and resort tours, please make sure you subscribe and ring that bell to be notified every time I upload a new video. Walking into the main entrance, you'll find one of the bus stops right here. Down this way, you'll find the airport shuttle, the Magical Express, and the convention center is down that way and then to the right. Go in here to the main lobby. Walking into the main lobby, it's a beautiful fountain. Off to the right is Panchitos, it is the gift shop. Down that hallway is the restaurants and convention center. And over here is registration. Start by going into the registration area. And this is where you'll find concierge, guest services, check-in and also bell services so you can get your tickets, book dining, tours, all of that right here. They have some fitness classes. Here's the schedule right now. And they are complimentary. You just have to book your spot. Back over here and give a quick walk through the gift shop. They have paint your own Mexican wood carved character on Wednesdays and Fridays from five to nine. And personalized name works art Thursday, Friday, and Saturday from time five to 10. They have some of the Coronado Springs specific merchandise. And I'll just give you a quick walk through just want to say really quick that I just bought this at the Disney Character Warehouse on sale for $20 and it is still here at the parks for $65. If you're interested in those, I'll leave a link up in the corner for, the, for my visit to the Character Warehouse at Sawgrass Mills. Hi. They have a selection of Pandora and other high-end jewelry you can get. And then all your other Disney gift shop staples. They have a fuel rod location here in the back. If you haven't seen my other vlogs, this is a $30 charge one time and you can exchange it wherever there's a fuel rod location which are located all over Disney property including Disney Springs. some grab-and-go drinks. They also have a selection of wine and liquor, some cigars. Some toiletry staples if you ran out or forgot them. A whole wall of pins over here. And just all your like I said, Disney gift shop staples. You can pick them up here. And they also have a large selection of ears, including the new Imagination Pink ones that just came out. All right, coming out of the gift shop, we're going to make a quick turn left, sorry. And you'll have Cafe Rick's is right outside of the gift shop. Grab and go. You can see the gift shop is right there we just came from. And here is a selection of some of the things they offer. Oh my goodness, look at that donut. Look at these donuts, they're incredible.
some grab and go sandwiches, salads. They have gelato. And also a coffee station. We have a snack station where you can make your own grab and go trail mix. And they also have a refillable mug station in here. Coming out of Rick's, this is where we just came from. We're gonna go further down this way. where you'll see there's another fuel rod location. We're gonna turn left. Where you'll find off to the right is El Mercado, which is the quick service. And to the left is Rick's Sports Bar. And here is just an overview. Beautiful chandeliers, and they have plenty of TVs, large bar, and seating area. Coming out of Rick Sports Bar. We'll go into El Mercado. It is just changing into lunchtime. So I'll just give you a quick overview. Plenty of seating. You can get your refillable mugs here. There's some beer in the cooler, a couple grab and goes. And it looks like since they're actually switching out right now, it is 11.15 and they're switching out but they have all their different stations, so they'll have pizza and salads, hot sandwiches and burgers, and then extra grab and go over here. And then they have a cooler case over here with just quick grab and goes that are already pre-made salads and sandwiches and drinks and chips. Yeah, yeah. So here are the hours, which is why they are closed right now, because it's 11.15, they're doing their switch over, and they'll have that open by 11.30. So 11.30 till 11 p.m. is when they're open for lunch and dinner. Coming out of El Mercado, turning left, you'll find Maya Grill. This is their signature dining location for the resort. Maya Grill is open from 5 p.m. to 10. And you can make reservations through the lobby or the open table app. I don't want to walk in there because they're not open and there's nobody here, but it looks really beautiful. Nice ambiance. And here is the menu for Maya Grill. Coming out of the Mayan Grill area, going to the left. All right, coming from Maya Grill behind me, this is our first area, the Casita section, which the convention center is back down that way. Maya Grill is right here. So back that hallway is the convention center. And this begins the Casitas. And the Casitas area is numbered one, two, three. Right here. We're going to continue on this way. And to give you some bearing, if you look just to our right, right over there is the Villa del Lago, and that's the bridge into El Centro. We just came back, and now we're walking along this way.
just to give you some bearing of the resort. And there is nice seating over here, overlooking the lake and the fountain. In front of us now is Casitas Building 3. And we're just gonna continue along this walkway for a little bit. Keep in mind that these buildings are four floors high. There are stairs and there are also central elevators located in each of the buildings where the ice machines and pop snack stations are as well. So you can't see it, but right up there is where the ice machine and the vending machine is. So the elevators will be right around there. All right, still coming around the walkway. The pathway around the outer edge. We're coming up to another one of the quiet pools. This is the quiet pool area for Casitas. There's a quick little overview of the pool. Nice size, nice and quiet, if you want to relax. And we're going to come back down behind the pool. And this is where you'll find the spa location. There's also a fitness center up here. And there's just a quick overview. Out of the fitness center right here, we're going to come around this way. The La Vida Health Club. Hello. Hi. Good, how are you? Here is the brochure. There wasn't much to see in there. It's just a waiting room. Here are their offerings that they have at the spa. So you can get your hair done, massages, facials, nails. They also have some character packages where you can do kind of like the Bibbidi Bobbidi Boutique, but different characters, whatever you want. Here. I'm coming out of the casita section, almost to the end of it. Still following along the pathway around the lake. This resort really is beautiful. It's quite large, but with the three bridges now open, it's a lot easier to get from one place to another. And here is the bridge from the Casitas area into Villa del Lago, and also a shortcut if you're in this section to get to El Centro, which is right over there. Up to building five in Casitas. We're doing some yard work. Working hard on the yard. And just up ahead, we'll be coming into Ranchos. And down that way, you'll find a bus stop as well. And you can see as we walk into the rancho section that the theming has sort of changed and the first building in the rancho section coming from El Centro is 6A. It's beautiful flowers everywhere. It's a little flower on the cactus. Some huge aloe plants. It's probably for everybody's sunburns that are on vacation. And just all this cool sediment rock theming. It's really cool. Ooh. This almost feels like a little road, too. And so there's another bus stop right up there. Now we're coming up to Building 7A Rancheros. And the room we stayed in is right up there, floor two. Alrighty, so we did online check-in. I got a notification around like 1.30 that my room was ready. I used touringplans.com to request a room. It is not the room that I requested or the building area, but it's just a request. So you're never guaranteed anything, but it's worth a try. So we ended up with Ranchos area, um, building 7A, room 7282. 
This is a standard room with no view. Two queen size beds. Here's an overview. Cute little Mickey towel. I only hope that we don't lose sight of one thing. That is, it all started by a mouse, Walt Disney. All right, so we have the second floor. This is the view. Not much of a view, which is fine. Some three caballeros decoration here. Nice sitting chair. Over here, there is a Keurig with coffee and tea. There's the ice container, coffee cups, drinking glasses. Down here is the fridge. Another one of the clear glass ones. Feels pretty cold. This is a convention center resort, so they have this chair here and desk area that has an extra desk light, two plugs, and two USBs. Has six drawers. The top two are smaller, and the bottom two are larger, pretty deep. Lots of storage space. A nice brand new Samsung flat screen TV. Two more outlets and two more USBs. We have two queen size beds. They both have the under storage space for your luggage. And even more outlets and USBs. Light switches are here. More caballeros. We're having a party in here. We have the Bible. That is a large safe. I've never seen a safe this big here before. Oh, it's locked. I can't even get in the safe. Anyways, it's a big one. Turning around under the desk also, there is a garbage can and recycling bin. They have a full-size mirror over here along with more storage space. I like the sliding doors they have. For the bathroom so you can close it off you can close off the bathroom and completely get ready without waking anyone else in the room which is really awesome here is an overview of the bathroom dual sinks And here we have your closet with hangers, extra pillow and blanket, iron and ironing board, spot for your shoes, hand towels over here, tissues, more storage. Up, oh, I don't know who's putting it anything up there that's really really high oh this is surprising they have all of these h2o products here even though it is a moderate a vanity kit cooling gel body lotion mouthwash and a shower cap and the facial soap like i said two sinks hair dryer over here and some under the sink storage as well. And the cabinets do have the soft close, so when you close it, it won't make a loud bang and wake other people in the room, which is nice. They also have a lighted magnified mirror. Nice touch. There we go. Hi guys. And the bathroom, just a standard bathroom, extra toilet paper, the reusable shampoo, conditioner, and body wash, 
and really nice shower. They have the detachable shower head along with the rainfall shower head. So I really like that. It's nice. Look at the tub. On each side, there's one here, one over there, one on this side. Little reading lights that are adjustable. It's really nice. And they just turn off. And also, a ceiling fan. We're coming up to the small pool area and laundry for the rancho section. Here is one of the guest laundries. And just a standard laundry room. Smaller pool areas. I'm not going to film the people. But it's just nice, quiet, relaxing. And there are always the signs that'll tell you which way you need to go if you get a little bit turned around or confused because this is a very large property. We're gonna go down this way. It's like, what up, she got it. This is really nice in the cabana section. You can see there's hammocks and lounge chairs that you can just lay out and relax at the beach and it's really a beautiful view especially today where they have the new Grand Estino Tower opening soon and then the uh, three bridges and then El Centro or yeah El Centro is up here and there is another small pool in the cabana section right there is guest laundry and then coming up next is the pool. Here's the cabana area, quiet pool. As with all Disney resorts, there's the life vests and there's also towels to use at the pool so you don't need to bring your own. And it's also handicap, handicap accessible as well. And just something to take into consideration that the cabana section is directly next to the Grand Destino Towers. So, one thing, you cannot go through this to get to El Centro. You have to go out into the parking lot all the way around at this time. This is June 17th, so when this is finished, this will be the main entrance and at that time, this will be a prime area to be because you'll be right when you come in from the main road. But right now the construction is a little bit loud during the day, but that is only from the hours of, I believe, 9 a.m. to 6 p.m., something like that. You know that they won't be loud while you're sleeping. Coming into the dig site. The pool hours are from 9 to 11. Thank you. A small kids splash pad over here. This is the walkway to the slide. Life us, and then just an overview of the whole pool area. They have a whole back seating area with plenty of lounge chairs for everybody, and more over here. Right behind, back this way, is the fire pit where they do the the fire pit and s'mores every night. The times for that will be posted on your times guide. There's where the slide comes out and then just the beautiful Mayan pyramid. Back over here is the hot tub. Quite large, nice size. Very relaxing. I'm back over this way. And here is Siesta's Pool Bar. They're open from 
9 a.m. to 11 p.m. every day at this pickup window. But if you want to sit at the bar, that opens at 11 a.m. Here are the offerings at the pool bar. Going off to the right, they have some ping pong and they have a playground area in the back. Little slide. And just a nice fun little place for some kids to run off those Disney snacks. Coming back over here is the arcade. This arcade is open from 8 a.m. to 10 p.m., unlike the other ones that are 24 hours. One of the smaller ones I've seen. Uh, felt so good in there. Uh, back this way is where you'll find restrooms, phones, some drinking fountains. And then they also have a refillable mug station over here. So bring your mugs down to the pool with you or the arcade and you can refill them here. Going around the other side of the pool bar, there's plenty of seating with little umbrellas. And they also have a um, beach volleyball area. It's really nice. We have the pool area right here. Down this walkway that's blocked off for construction at this time. Down this way is the walkway to the ranchos. And this way is the walkway to Villa del Lago, the new restaurant, on the Three Bridges. And at the middle point you have where we came from which will take you to the pool and ranchos down this way will take you to Casitas. And this way will take you to El Centro. In Villa del Lago is very beautiful. They're not currently open. Their hours are from 4.30 till 12 a.m. But here is their menu. Looks really good like to come back here and try it. Right. Whew. That was rough. I'm hot. It's really hot out here. It's um, June 18th and the Grand Destino Tower is scheduled to be finished the end of this year. I'll find out all the information and link that down below or write it in the description. This was a great stay. The beds were super comfortable. The noise level uh, wasn't too bad. Um, not as loud as Pop Century. I could hear some of the neighbors a little bit when I didn't have anything on in the room, like no TV. Um, but nothing that was earth shattering and the hallway noise wasn't bad at all. There's a parking fee you have to pay, I believe it's 20, no, it's $19 per night because this is a moderate. And I, I would definitely stay here again. The hot tub was really relaxing to come back to after a long day at the parks. It's a pretty good location, central to the other, um, all the other parks, it's not too bad. I will say I used the busing system to get to a few places and when I went to Animal Kingdom, the bus took an hour. It took a whole hour out of my day to ride the bus. I'm, I don't ride the bus very often so I don't know if this is 
a normal thing or if it was a fluke, but I also had the same situation later that night when I was at Disney Springs trying to get back here. It took me an hour again. So if you have to use the bus system, please make sure you plan ahead and try to get out there to the buses at least an hour before you really wanna be wherever it is you're going. And they also have, when you're staying on property, you can look at my Disney Experience app and see when the next bus is coming for the location that you're trying to get to. So if you guys have any questions about um, our time here or anything on property, please leave it in a comment down below. I'd be happy to answer all your questions. And if you enjoyed coming along on this resort tour, please help support me and my channel and subscribe and ring that bell to be notified every time I upload a new video. You guys have a great day. Remember, every day is a countdown to Disney.